Namaste, kings and queens. Thank you so much for gracing my channel. Your presence is such a present, so it's only right that I reciprocate you with the gift of guided messages. I'm sending you all peace, healing, love, and prosperity, also health and wealth. Before we hop into the reading, you guys, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified every time I upload a beautiful reading. I am still doing my July special um, one question readings for free. All right. So if you are interested in that, you're welcome to email me. Um, also, I'm still taking, you know, emails and comments. If you are interested in the free tarot giveaway, you must be in the U.S., you guys. Okay. I'm not shipping out of the state or out of the country. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. So with that being said, let's hop in. We're just going to get a quick energy spread in regards to the collective. Whoa. I'm actually going to use my fire intuition deck. Um, <clears throat> I just have a quick message as well. I got a comment from a young man and he was stating how he really enjoyed my last reading. Um, and he appreciated my mindset. But I, I couldn't read the whole thing because I guess by the time I went to go read it, it was deleted. But he was basically saying he's going to keep, you know, shopping around for other readers who have a larger audience. And I really just took that as like, no, no matter how large or small your audience is, if you are a creator or if you are, you know, an influencer in some sort and you're just beginning and you're just, you know, getting started, don't be discouraged by the numbers. Don't be discouraged by the the number of subscribers or followers or what have you the more you put your energy into something that you love the people will come all right so don't worry about that all right i don't know who else that's for but yeah so let's go ahead and hop in i appreciate each and every one of you for all the likes for all the comments and for all the subscribes thank you thank you thank you all right so let's see here. Holy Divine Spirit, provide me messages for the collective in regards to what they need to know. Today, July 1st. Wow, you are beautiful, babe. So this is how your person is feeling about you or you, you're feeling about your person. Somebody is very enamored with you, all right? They're in love with your beauty, all right? They think that you are beautiful, beautiful energy. I love that. I'm also getting um, a lot of you may start to get a lot of compliments, all right, even from um, complete strangers, but definitely your person is going to be very attentive to you and very... Um, they're going to be complimenting you a lot. There's something about you that's radiating right now to your person. All right. I want to kiss you from head to toe. Beautiful. So your person is, like I said, they're feeling like a very enamored energy towards you. They're feeling very sexual. For some of you guys, they miss you. Maybe it's been a while since you guys had sex with your person or have been able to be intimate with your person. Um, but they definitely want to cater to you. Let me cater to you. Baby, this is your day. Do anything for my man. Baby, you blow me away. All right. So this could definitely be a feminine wanting to cater to her masculine. All right. We have my tears have healed my heart. All right. So you guys could have definitely gone through a lot with this person. Wow, look, we have soulmate here. So some of you guys could be dealing with your soulmate or you're feeling like this person is your soulmate. You're still trying to figure it out or your person feels this way about you. Like they feel like you're their soulmate or they just feel very um, attached to you, connected to you. All right. Let's get one more. I'm confronting my past here, all right? And then I see how bad I fucked up, 
all right so this person is definitely confronting their past they're realizing what they've done in this connection to fuck it up to ruin it all right to put it in the place where i guess it is right now some of you guys could be in separation because at the bottom we have um i'm on my way and then at the top here we have i think about you all day so they they truly miss you guys um if you are in separation of course don't they and then look i'm in love with you <laughs> wow i don't never understand like if you are in love with somebody or you feel such strong feelings and connection to someone what possesses you to fuck it up if it's so good fear fear like fear will fuck it up for you every time all right so let's see what else is going on here i'm confronting my past the queen of swords and the five of wands here so this person is definitely going to be cutting um cutting people off okay in the past they could have been very promiscuous they could have been the type to bring a lot of third party energy into the relationship all right um but i do feel like they are going to be you know finding closure in other connections or with other people all right this could leave other individuals feeling very upset all right queen of swords energy not happy all right because they probably you know didn't think that this person would ever settle okay so i'm getting i'm getting the person you're dealing with they they weren't really like the relationship type or commitment type and you make them want to be that confronting my past yeah we have the chariot you could be a cancer or dealing with a cancer here all right but this person is definitely moving forward in regards to confronting their past okay they are doing whatever it is that they need to do i feel like they're being successful at this like they are sticking to becoming a changed person all right they are on a mission and i feel like they are trying to prove it to themselves first all right and then once they prove it to themselves they know that you'll start to see yeah we have the nine of wands and we have the temperance here all right so they're really hoping that you gain some type of patience with them all right and they're hoping for a reconciliation most definitely um they do feel wounded in regards to this connection they do feel um they do feel like you have given up on this connection all right but with the temperance here i feel like some of you still have a little fight left in you for this person i don't think that they know that though i think you might be coming off to this person as if like I'm done, but some of you may very well still be into this person. What is, um, I see how bad I fucked up. Five of Wands came back out. Yeah, so this person was definitely putting you in um, third party situations or, you know, just causing a lot of fighting or a lot of drama, a lot of conflict. Maybe he had um dealings with other women okay so i'm hearing he so this could be specifically about a masculine who was like i said very promiscuous um not only was they not only were they promiscuous but the people that they dealt with or the women that they dealt with carried a lot of negative and confrontational energy around what's the five of wands I feel like the reason why this person is so enamored with you is because of the energy you exude, the energy you you carry. You're very, um, you're very soft spoken. I'm hearing a very soft voice. All right, you're very womanly. Okay, you carry your feminine energy very well. All right, you're very nurturing. You're very sexy. Like your your sex appeal is out of this world. Something like they've never seen. I'm also hearing that your exterior matches your 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 interior, like your internal. Like so your soul is pure. You're very sweet and you also look good. All right. What's the five of wands? I'm hearing I choose you. I'm hearing you're the one that I love. 
yeah we have three of cups here so a lot of you like i'm saying um they only have eyes for you i only have eyes for you even if there were other people around or there was a third party situation like they weren't like you like sex with you is amazing sex with me so amazing all right um this person is missing you i'm really getting an energy of sexually frustrated as well because they can't get it from you all right give me one more yeah the high priestess here whoa some of you guys could be dealing with the pisces or sagittarius here um I feel like a lot of you have been getting readings on this person or you're thinking about getting a reading on this person or your person has delved into like tarot or know someone that does tarot or know someone that can kind of look into the future and see what the future holds between you two is what I'm feeling. What is my tears that healed my heart? I feel like you guys have healed from this past uh, third party situation. Wow, we have the five of swords. Yeah, for the my tears, my tears have healed my heart. So you guys have went, been through a a lot with this person, a lot of conniving energy, and I really feel like some of you may have gotten caught up with this person when they were when they were in the energy of like stomping over people's uh, heart to feed their ego. All right, I'm hearing that song by Janae Aiko, Lion King. Um, it's okay, you just don't know no better. You're better off being alone. No, that's not the verse I'm hearing, though. Uh -huh, mm -mm -mm, from all of the lies that you told. Damn, hopefully it come up. But I'm hearing that song like she's basically saying, like, you took all this from me. Like, you basically crushed my fucking heart to feed your ego. Like, you didn't think I needed that? You didn't think I needed my heart to survive, to pick up, to keep going, to keep moving forward? Like, yeah, this person was a, a motherfucker, all right? What's the five of swords? Give me more. Yeah, ten of cups. Ten of cups. And they did this to someone. Wow. And then we have the empress here. They did this to the wrong person. They stepped on the wrong person's heart. They broke the wrong person's heart, which which was you. Like, they didn't understand or they didn't realize that you were the empress, okay? They couldn't see past all the bullshit and the, the conniving ways, their conniving ways, like, that you could have very well been their ten of cups. But they were in that energy. They were in the five of swords energy. Whereas you're the empress sitting pretty, you're the ten of cups, like, yeah, they didn't see that. And now, look, I'm in love with you, I'm on my way, I think about you all day, they reminisce about you, they, they're, they're thinking, like, they're thinking back, like, damn, like, she's the one that got away, that's what I'm hearing. Like, she was perfect for me, she was everything I've ever wanted, she was everything I've been looking for, like... I don't think that they were, they felt it deserving of you. I think about you all day. What is this? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, because they, now they're thinking about like, damn, I want to commit to this person. I want to invest in this person. I want the opportunity to be with this empress. I want the opportunity to love this person. Like, they think about you all day. Yeah, four of swords here. With the seven of cups yeah they're all in their head and in their emotions like crazy like heavy i'm also getting the energy of like they get a lot of messages like a lot of women want this person but they only want you now and there's people too that aren't understanding how this person is changing i'm getting this person like gets emails and text messages even phone calls and he doesn't even answer them Yeah, he doesn't even answer these people. Let me get some additional messages. Or these women. Addis additional messages, please. Wow. 
We have boat receiving what you need, progressing, moving on, closure issues, all right? So I feel like if you are putting it into this situation or this relationship, your person is having having issues with closure or they feel like they need closure, all right? Or there's some closure coming, uh, closure issues in regards to a karmic relationship. Maybe some of you realize this was karmic and you had to move away. You had to let it go. Yeah, we have the phoenix, all right? And we have separation. There it is. So some of you definitely are in separation, all right? But in this separation, you're rising, okay? You're going through a new phase, all right? You're renewed, you're transformed, all right? And I'm hearing like, but you've only gotten better and better. You only get better, like like fine wine, you get better with time. Whereas this person, they still need to go through this Phoenix phase, all right? But they're still sad. And they're missing you and they're thinking about you twice and they're yearning for you unsure of the future so for a lot of you they're unsure if you're going to let them back in give me one more and they are sad as hell they are very sad whoa okay those flew right in my hand Look, we have photograph and we have healthy choices. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. Missing you and thinking about you. M thinking about you is here twice. And then we have missing you. Or no, we have missing you twice. And then we have I think about you all day. Wow. And then we have healthy choices, which I feel like is you. Making healthy choices in love and life. Self-love, self-care, be happier. So I feel like this is you, your energy. You're moving on. You're moving forward. You're being happy. You're making healthier choices in love and life. And they're stuck. They're stagnant. They're feeling nostalgic over you. All right. Let's get some advice from Spirit. Then we can close it out. Holy Spirit, any last advice for my collective, for my spiritual family? Advice for the collective queen of wands queen of wands nine of pentacles do you baby do you continue moving forward continue being passionate and continue being driven all right in your singleness all right don't don't allow this person to come in the same exact way all right um i'm also getting your masculine is woo fine honey fine and you fine too this is a good match but it's like are you spiritually spiritually aligned okay are you guys um on the same page as far as what you want out of life what you want out of a relationship it's like this needs to go past looks all right a relationship is way more than looks yeah we have the six of wands and then we have a tower wow this relationship is is very much capable of being a very magical and a successful one but somebody has to have a tower moment and I feel like it's the masculine so that they can rebuild themselves internally and I feel like they are trying to though I do for some of you but spirit is definitely with the nine of pentacles and the queen of wands keep doing you honey bunny keep moving forward keep pushing through all right keep being happy all right that that keeps your light shining bright for you to attract all right what god has for you what god has planned for you all right all right so that's what i have for you collective i hope it helps like share comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video i love you i shay